Hello, my name is Jean Maynard Hayes. I am um, 54. Uh, my husband and I live in the Dalton area, Donville community. And this is not very um, comfortable for me. I'm not used to doing videos, but we're going to try and see how it goes. My personal background is um, I was actually born in Dalton, but grew up in Ringgold, Georgia. That's where my home place is. And my mother still lives there at the home place. My father passed away this past year, thanks to COVID and some complications with diabetes and health. But um, she still uh, is able to live on her own. And so she divides her time between her home place and my home. Spiritually, I was um, accepted Jesus as my Savior when I was a little girl, about the age of seven. And I have uh, been in church my entire life, actually. Probably before I was born, my parents attended church faithfully. And I have been blessed with the fact that they are and were very devout Christians and very hardworking very um, uh, American, I guess is the word I want to say, because they were very um, adamant in my upbringing as far as becoming a good citizen and a good Christian person, and not only for the citizenship here in the United States, but also to represent my Heavenly Father and our Christian family. Professionally, I have been in administrative clerical positions for probably 35 years or so. Um, but with all the changes that have come along the way, I ended up with uh, an organizational change at the last company where I was. So I, I was without work and went looking and have now become a school bus driver, which is something I never thought that I would ever do. But it's also been something that has really changed my life for the better. I enjoy having the children. I enjoy seeing them as they make their changes. I've been doing that for about six years now. And um, it has given me a new direction in my thought process. I never knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. So now at age 54, I think that it's past my midlife and it's time that I start um, actually contributing. So my goal is to become a counselor and do the best that I can to help young people and uh, particularly the students that I face each day in being able to help them as they are encountering the different um, challenges that they are having to face. Currently at church, uh, my husband and I worship and serve at Mount Vernon United Methodist in Westside over in Rocky Face. He plays bass in the um, praise band there for our, it's not contemporary, but it's eclectic 11 o'clock service. And I help with the visual aid for all the programming, particularly since COVID has gone to uh, not having so much that we pass around by hand, but having our program of worship being on the screens that are provided there. And so I create those playlists um, for the congregation and for the choir and so forth. So the pro presenter is something that has been become a part of our worship process. And that is my current um, responsibility. I tend to take ownership of those tasks. That's how I was raised. My parents taught me that if there is a task that I've been assigned or that I have accepted, then I am to do it to the best of my ability for our Heavenly Father. And 
that is also how I feel about Christian leadership. For me, they have been, my parents, have been the primary example of how I should treat others and how I should respect everyone. Uh, does not matter what color they are, what race they are, what their disability might be. Uh, we all have flaws and faults. None of us are perfect. I certainly know that I am not. And I want to treat everyone with respect. And I think that a good leader does that. I think a good Christian leader does that from the perspective of Jesus Christ, the way that he loved and cared for us. And he was willing to lay his life down for us and sacrifice that. But we know that he rose again. And we are so thankful that we have a living Savior that we can uh, communicate with and commune with through the Holy Spirit, our paraclete. And um, I, I am just really enjoying the renewed fellowship with my Lord that I'm having through my classes here at Lee. Um, this talks about uh, maybe mentioning different Bible passages and so forth that we um, understand for leadership. My personal scripture verse has always been Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. And then regarding professional, I've always used study to show thyself approved from Second Timothy, I believe it's 2.15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And so for me at the moment, those are the primary things. Now as a woman, my perspective is wanting to attain the Proverbs 31, uh, where I would be a woman, woman of virtue and honor. And so um, that's my direction. And uh, it's nice to meet all of you. I hope that you are blessed by our communications this semester. And I pray that we will all do well and do the best we can for our Heavenly Father. Have a great day.